A new book has poured scorn on the notion that the Vikings were more diverse than previously thought. Dr. Kat Jarman's River Kings, A New History of Vikings from Scandinavia to the Silk Road, takes a closer look at the trading and raiding of the Norse. Archaeologists discovered a small bronze Buddha on a lake island near Stockholm, which in 2015 received pride of place on a stamp released by the Swedish Postal Service in an attempt to demonstrate Sweden's rich multicultural past. But the author said such concepts were misplaced. She said the presence of the item did not mean there were Buddhist Vikings by any stretch of the imagination. It's highly unlikely the Vikings had any knowledge of Buddhism, she said. It was simply an item of value exchanged for Viking trade goods, furs, walrus tusks and slaves, lots of them, from Britain, Ireland and Eastern Europe, who were then sold on to the buyers from the Middle East and Asia. She said that displaying such booty was merely a marker of the exotic, showing that you had links with those external worlds and an ability to travel. Dr Jarman is also resistant to revisionist historians attempting to recast the Vikings as more diverse than they really were. New DNA evidence shows that they were pretty homogenous, even stereotypical, tall, strong, blonde-haired and blue-eyed, she said. She believed that interpreting the presence of Arab coinage in Viking graves as evidence of a multicultural Dark Age Scandinavia would be like interpreting the large number of IKEA stores that have sprung up across Britain in recent years as evidence that sometime in the late 20th century a significant number of Swedes had colonised Britain. She also shot down the shield maiden myth popularised by TV series such as History's Vikings. She pointed out that while Viking Age women may have been found buried with swords, they were also interred with bowls and spindles. Their bones showed no signs of trauma injuries we find on male skeletons, nor of the muscular development associated with using weapons. Dr Jarman warned against concocting a matriarchal fantasy fuelled by 21st century desires and sentiments. She said that the reverse was more likely, with Viking men being frankly ruthless bride snatchers. They sailed off to find both riches and slave girls, hence the extraordinary fact that DNA testing has shown that among modern Icelanders, 75% of the men have Scandinavian ancestry, while 62% of women have British or Irish ancestry. She also wrote about the extraordinary range and trade links of the Norse sea and river fearers. To illustrate this, she pointed to the moaning silks from China, Japan and Korea, paper and silver from Samarkand, ebony and ivory from East Africa, and she said their voyages in part could have been spurred on by selective female infanticide, which left a dearth of possible mates for Norse menfolk. So some fascinating and possibly quite brutal new insights there into Viking culture. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. Thank you for watching.